Blizzard isn't exactly a game company with the best reputation right now. And I don't even mean all the allegation stuff. I mean, as a game development company, their last major game was Overwatch in 2016. And since then, really, what have we had? That wasn't until a few days ago when we found out that they'd announced a new, unnamed survival game. And then you find out that's been in development for five years too, and it's barely been made. It's not the best of stories. It's, it all started with this tweet from Craig where he said, This is a dream project that was a humble pitch on his desktop, but now it's a team full of caring and passionate people sharing a vision that I couldn't be prouder to be part of. And that's as well as maybe, but really... What is it about the game? Because it led to this, where he says that, Do you like survival games? Do you want to join a collaborative team of experienced developers at the early stage of a new project? Yes, this isn't even a game that's actually that far into development. It's certainly nowhere near release. This is at the early stages of development, which normally wouldn't be a problem. We've just heard about it. But this game's also been in development for almost five years and it's nowhere near being released. And the article can say it's in a playable state as much as they want because the developers are going, oh, we've played it, it's amazing. But it doesn't exactly endear confidence from a gaming point of view when, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen development, but those people will play anything. Even just line boxes on a screen is how Overwatch started. Just because they've played it doesn't mean it's any good. So while his LinkedIn has said that he's been developing this game for four years and seven months, and that he's played many hours of it, uh, this could be in a wireframe model state with barely any actual game content and people could still go, oh, this is amazing because they kind of have to say it's amazing because they haven't released a game in six years and they've just been acquired. So allegations or not, they're going to come a time where someone actually buys the company, wants to see how much work you've done and finds out it's nothing. Now, I think there's an interesting conversation with games of how long in development it is too long because just because something's been in development for a long time, it's, it's not net always a good sign, is it? Uh, it's generally a sign that something is gone horribly wrong the idea was fundamentally flawed or they already made a game and had to scrap it and start making it again in a new engine or something major just because it wouldn't work and it tends to come into a mess not all the time but a lot of the time and this wouldn't be the first game with a long development cycle you've got the elder scrolls 6 which honestly that was announced way too early and at this point does anyone care like, until we actually get new information, does anyone care about it? You can definitely announce games too early. And obviously, this isn't really meant as an announcement for gamers as such. This is more a recruitment exercise for various different developers. But that said, games companies actually hire developers all the time without telling them what game they're going to be working on. So this was definitely to kind of get a title out there as such. And really, this soon after the Microsoft announcement, do you really think that's a coincidence? I don't know myself. I think anything that's announced this soon after the Microsoft buyout announcement... Uh, has uh, probably been taken into consideration. But the interesting part was how a load of current and former Blizzard employees all came out and announced that they were really hyped for the game. Even some of the critics of the company have said they're excited for unannounced survival game. We had comments raging from, I'm super excited, this game looks amazing, the team is not so nice, and the project is oh so cool. I can't say much, but the team and the project are amazing. All I can say is that the game's actually gonna rock, hella beautiful, can't wait. And this project will have a big impact on the industry and I think it's going to have to make a big impact because there were so many survival games that were so similar that, quite frankly, I think a lot of people had burnouts, and that includes me. So uh, this game is going to need to bring something new. But the comments are also extreme and complimentary. There were some people who thought that uh, this is a bit unusual. All the staff normally just bad mouth Activision and Blizzard. What are they doing coming out and actually saying how amazing this is? So much so that people started accusing Blizzard of making the staff come out and doing this. So Blizzard actually had to respond and say that as a company spokesman, they did not encourage employees to make positive posts about the recent announcement. You know your company is screwed when even when your own staff say anything good about your company, they just accuse you of making them. It, it's not a good look and it's not a good sign. But there isn't much information about the game as a whole, which, like I say, it kind of concerns me. This game has been in development for five years, is only just at the start of development. I don't really care how many of the staff say how amazing it is. I'm sure the people who did Battlefield would say the, exactly the same thing and look at the reaction to that. None of this really carries any weight with me until I can see the game for myself. And I think after five years, you should have had something available to actually show so that people can. Now, I know this isn't a customer-facing announcement. I know it's not really meant for people like me. It's meant for developers to get them onto the project itself. But you could have at least shown screenshots. You could have shown anything about this game. And it's not there to show after nearly five years.
years. But so as much as I want to get hyped about a game, I've seen all of this stuff before, and until I actually seen gameplay, it just doesn't bother me anymore. And when a game's been in development for five years, and you've got nothing to show for it, I have to say that concerns me a great deal. But what do you think? What do you think of the quality of Blizzard, Blizzard's games, their lack of development of any game since 2016, and the forthcoming unannounced survival game that they couldn't even be bothered to make a title for before announcing it to the public? Let me know. If you like the video, press like and subscribe. More videos in the future. Let me know down below. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye-bye.